Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I'm going to go back where I left off after my last round of questioning. Uh, and the question that I have will revisit that all these Canadian crowdfunding platforms are regulated through provincial securities regulators we talked about. So they are covered in FinTrack when the transactions go there. The crowdfunding platforms in Canada, uh, specifically uh, GoFundMe, are regulated. And when it was determined that the activities were deemed to be illegal, they ceased providing funds to the organization. The one gap we have here, of course, when Give, Send, Go, an offshore uh, non-Canadian entity uh, where some Canadian funds were going uh, and some other funds were also going, we're not sure where that fits in the regulation. So that's where we are. So this is the part I think that concerns many of the members around this committee is the implications of foreign funds, foreign organizations that are not regulated by Canadian institutions such as FinTrack to actually uh, destabilize uh, you know, operations in Canada, the government in Canada. So is this, I mean, I'm not sure how FinTrack is going to be able to regulate uh, these foreign platforms. Can you can you comment on that, please? Um, maybe, um, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, looking at the gaps and and looking at the regime and and our our regulator partners, um, uh, certainly we are having conversations with them and. Um, uh, additional gaps uh, and policy gaps really um, come under the purview of our colleagues at the Department of, uh, of Finance. And I think that question would best be uh, rooted to them. Okay, thank you. The, the issue again with the Emergencies Act is it seemed we were clear that everything was going according to the law. Uh, the only gap we seem to have here in understanding is what the regulation of the foreign entity as far as distribution of funds to a Canadian uh, illegal operation, if you will. Um, the issue we have as far as freezing bank accounts go in Canada, and that was the order in council that was issued, freezing bank accounts for participating in the illegal activity, even when the activity wasn't illegal or deemed to be illegal, is our basic uh, overstep, if you think, I think that where uh, many of our constituents actually really balked at, is this going to destabilize the Canadian financial system if the government has the ability to reach into accounts where people, when they participated in that action, were doing nothing illegal, but suddenly had their accounts frozen. I'm not talking accounts $10,000 plus. I'm talking, you know, your ma's and pa's that may have given to an organization that was not performing anything illegal at the time. Can you comment on that, please? Thank you for that question, Mr. Chair, that uh, the seizing of the bank accounts um, and the invocation of the act is uh, well outside the purview of FinTrack, so I, I do not have a comment on that. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to comment on? Because it seems like the Emergencies Act didn't have any role to play in the actions as far as the accounts go, the, crowd, the crowdsourcing, it seemed to be actually have uh, occurring under current Canadian legislation and the, the Emergencies Act was really not required in order to freeze any of those accounts. It, and and, and the, the account freeze is the one overstep here that seemed to actually, uh, uh, you know, is part of the Emergencies Act was really the gross overstep. Any comment on that? Again, Mr. Chair, that uh, is outside of the purview of FinTrack and, and the role that we play in terms of money laundering and terrorist financing. So would, would anything you. be accomplished with that? Thank you, MP McLean. <laughs> 